Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. Spirits and angels, please show me important accurate love messages for Aquarius today. Aquarius, please bear in mind that roles can be switched in this reading. Could either be you or your person you are thinking about or dealing with, okay? Got the Hermit here in reverse and the King of Swords. Oh, sorry, the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. So this is actually your energy. However, it can be reversed. I feel like, Aquarius, this just indicates that now you know what you want, what you don't want. But this could also indicate a communication coming in for you guys. Looks like it's going to be a fast communication. Either you thinking about communicating with somebody or somebody is wanting to communicate with you after having a lot of thoughts reflected on what had happened between the two of you. So we've got the higher font here. This indicates to me a higher level of commitment. Sometimes could indicate marriage as well. Someone could be strategizing or somebody finally like is 100% sure because the king of swords, you know, with the sword up and uh, sit, uh standing upright it's an upright position sorry Chris I just saw this message come uh, this message on my phone when I looked at the looked at the phone looked at my phone because this is a different phone I changed my phone um, but anyway Aquarius so King of Swords and the higher font here so King of Swords being with with it being in an upright position this definitely indicates somebody is a 100% sure, okay? So there's an energy of somebody feeling, I am 100% sure this is what I want. This is the connection that I want to be in, okay? This is the person I want to commit to. This is the person I would like to take the relationship to the next level, okay? Eight of Pentacles is in reverse, and we've got the Eight of Swords here in reverse. For me, this may indicate somebody mm, not wanting to stress anymore, don't want to overthink anymore, but Eight of Pentacles in reverse could also indicate somebody um, not wanting to work on this connection anymore. I feel like somehow the King of Swords and the Higher Fund is somebody knowing what they want, right? They know this is what they want. This is the type of relationship that they want. This type of person or partner that they want. Other than that, I don't. I don't want to waste my time investing into this person or into this connection. Could be how you feel or how your person feel. Okay, let's see more. So there's an energy with a world here in reverse of somebody feeling really hard to move on, still feeling really stuck. Will of Fortune is also in reverse. So this just goes to show that you and your person here, whoever you're thinking about, uh, perhaps it is not over yet, okay? Your connection with this person is not over yet. But we've got the five of wands here. So there's an energy of somebody just feeling really, really conflicted, unsure what they need to do, what they should do. Uh, but five of wands could also indicate interference, okay, from the outside or inside. Could be external factors, internal factors. For some of you, maybe it is a third party. Not all of you. I see just very small group of you, okay. But with the nine of pentacles here, this may indicate somebody feeling independent, uh, being self-sufficient. Could be someone seeing you this way right now. Um, but nine of pentacles is also a single card, okay. For you, some of you, Aquarius, with the five of wands and the nine of pentacles, if you are single, it looks like you may have a few options. I feel like people could be competing over you for your attention, or somebody could also be feeling kind of conflicted whether they should reach out to you because it looks like you're doing well, okay? It looks like you're doing good. Perhaps you're getting your stuff together or financially, um, that's something that is has that that has changed, okay? For me, Nine of Pentacles is a glow up as well. So maybe you have set your standard much higher. I feel like a lot of you have set your standard definitely much, much higher with the King of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles here. So Two of Cups in reverse and the Seven of Cups in reverse. This may indicate also somebody feeling that, hey, I'm 100% sure that, you know, maybe two of cups in reverse is to leave this person maybe you feel like it's the right thing to do to leave this person and that uh, you'd rather be focusing on yourself with the nine of pentacles here okay 
but also with the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse. I feel like Aquarius, a lot of you just know what you want already, okay? Any offer that is less than Ace of Pentacles in an upright position, which is a solid connection, a connection that looks like there is a future, I feel like a lot of you will reject it. If you have a lot of options, Seven of Cups could also indicate you having a lot of options, but not all options are good and you and you're not gonna accept these options okay i feel like you're gonna deny them or you're gonna reject them queen of cups is in reverse this may indicate a pisces cancer scorpio energy i feel like for a lot of you you're just not gonna for me it just looks like you're not gonna give your heart or your love to just anybody because the world reverse and the will of fortune reverse could also indicate a lot of things that may have happened in the past that perhaps you still find it really hard to move on from it okay so you rather just uh, with the nine of pentacles here just do you at the moment but Aquarius for some of you it could also be somebody realizing with the seven of cups here in reverse that they could have lost you because now the ace of pentacles is in reverse lost something precious somebody precious and that's that could be the reason why they still find it really hard to move on from you okay Again, it can be go. It can go vice versa. So with the tower here, this could indicate a surprise coming in for you guys. Okay, a surprise from somebody from your past, perhaps. But the tower could also indicate something drastic may have happened in the past. Uh, it could be an an ending that was really abrupt, or an awakening, somebody realizing something, or it could be information being revealed and somebody got really shocked by it okay so or an ending that was very bad a bad ending yeah so the emperor in reverse may indicate an aries energy here somebody may have treated you unfairly taken you for granted okay and with the four pentacles here in reverse and the six of wands in reverse i feel like okay a lot of you are letting go of this person especially this person whom has taken you for granted they could have abused the power over you over this connection Again, roles can be reversed, but I see a lot of you letting this person go, okay? And with the Nine of Swords here, still can't get over what had happened in the past, I feel, but this could also indicate communication coming in uh, for you guys. Maybe a surprise communication with the Tower here. Just when you stop focusing on this person, you let go, you energetically remove yourself from this person because the Eight of Swords can indicate thinking a lot, but with it in reverse, as you stop thinking about this person, perhaps energetically, again, remove yourself from this person and this person may feel it and this person may want to talk to you, all right? But Aquarius, for the most part, I see a lot of you knowing and understanding what you want and what you don't want. You have a lot of options. I can see that people could be fighting for you um, or, you know, you could be feeling conflicted who to choose and whatnot. But then at the end of the day, you go back to your, you know, your thinking. It's like, Aquarius, you are one of the next to Virgo. You and Virgo are actually the most intelligent sign so you're gonna use your intellect this time around with the king of swords here your logic and being practical and knowing that anything less than the higher fun as in you know something that's official something that is serious something that has a future you rather not focus on it you rather reject these offers all right Chris, this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with one playlist on on the screen right now this is the playlist from my second vlog channel if you guys are interested check it out and also i'm open for personal reading if you guys would like to book me my information is in the description box below Aquarius, i post your videos almost every single day if you would like to be notified every time when i post your video please don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care Aquarius. bye